Hi there, I'm Kendra Perry, online business mentor for health and wellness coaches and practitioners and creator of the Health Coach Accelerator Method. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate your onboarding process using Practice Better. So if you don't know what Practice Better is, pause this video, go to the link below this video, get Practice Better, because if you are an online coach, Practice Better is the best client management platform. So if you're trying to be organized, create more automation in your business, just meaning that things happen automatically rather than you doing them, Practice Better is an amazing tool. Highly recommend it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate your client onboarding process. Okay, so this is the dashboard for Practice Better. So what we're trying to do here is automate your onboarding process. So the first thing you wanna do is figure out what appointments you have included in your signature program. Now, if you don't know what a signature program is, please watch my YouTube video called How to Create a Signature Program, because um, that will teach you how to actually create one. But let's say I have a signature program that helps women resolve their um, IBS. And I'm, I'm just gonna call it like the IBS fix program. And say within that program, I do a 60 minute intake session with maybe six um, 30 minute follow up. So what we need to do first is actually create those services inside Practice Better. So if we go to my practice, go to my services, um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go add a service. We're gonna say one-on-one, -on -one, and then we're gonna say, you know, 60 minute, um, IBS fix initial consult or something like that. I'll just say that. Okay. Um, so it's going to be, let's say it's 60 minutes long. Um, you're going to say zero for free. You're going to leave all this stuff. We're going to say probably online video chat. Cause that's how most of you guys are probably connecting. Um, buffer time, like do you want people to be able to book right up until the start of the next appointment or do you want to buffer? So I always say yes. And I always put in whatever it is, I'm gonna say 15 minutes. Now I leave after blank, because if you put after 15 minutes, it'll mean that you'll get 30 minutes in between because it'll add those together. Um, so if you only want 15, leave it as 15, but if you want it as 30, you can do it that way as well. Now, um, this is fine because you're gonna book out, I always recommend that people book out, you book out all your client sessions um, in advance, but um, just in case you give links to your clients, like how soon do you want them to be able to book with you? I like it to be um, one week, just because that means on Friday, I know what my next week looks like, and I know people aren't gonna book in um, at the last minute, okay? Um, I just say default, that's fine. Do you want people to book in five minute increments? You know, Do you want them to be able to book at like 9, 10, 9, 15? 15 minutes, I usually do 15. Um, and then you're probably gonna leave all these things just as is, okay? Um, and then I always say limit who can see this service because obviously only the people in your program can book it and just leave that default there. And so we hit save. So now we have, um, oh, what did I forget? Oh, the fee, so we're just gonna say zero. There we go, and we're gonna hit save. Okay, so we're gonna hit done. Okay, so now we wanna um, add those follow-up sessions as services. So we're gonna go one-on-one -on -one again, and we're gonna say IBS fix follow, follow-up, okay? Um, so this is gonna be say 30 minutes, um, we'll just say zero. We're gonna do everything the same as last time. So keep all settings the same. And that's good. We're gonna say limit and then we will save. Okay, so done. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create this as a package. So we're gonna go add package and then we're gonna make it our IBS fix program, whatever, again, whatever you're gonna call it. Um, we're gonna put our fee, so let's say it's 3000. Okay, we're gonna leave this. We're not gonna put it on the booking page because we don't want anyone to be able to book it. We want them to get on a sales call with us first. So we were gonna say only I can create packages for my clients. Um, and then we're gonna do add the sessions. So there is our 60 minute initial session. So they get one of those, right? Um, great. And then we're gonna add another and then we're gonna get in those follow-ups and they get six of them. So now you have your package. How cool is that? So we're gonna save that, okay? 
The next thing we're going to do um, is you are going to make sure all your forms and waivers are built out inside Practice Better. Um, very easy to do if you just go um, create form. Um, you can do all these different, you can, you know, pull in personal info. You can, you know, ask them a multiple choice question, for example, which is very cool. Um, you can get them to, um, you know, check off different boxes. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different, so play around with this, but make sure that, um, before we move on to the next steps, so you might have to pause this video. Um, make sure you have your, um, your health history, the contract and waiver, and then your welcome letter. Okay, and then in your welcome letter, if you just wanna see what this looks like, um, basically I just have uploaded this PDF welcome letter that basically just says, you know, hey, welcome to the program and gives them every single detail they need to know. Because, you know, if you're gonna onboard, you just wanna send them one email. You don't wanna send them a bunch of different things at different times. You want everything to come in once. So I feel like the welcome letter is a good way to um, invite them into the program, or sorry, welcome them into the program, say thanks, um, tell them about, you know, how they can get in touch with you, how they, what are the rules around contacting you, you, what is the response time? Uh, where do they go if they have customer service issues? How do they access practice better? Like anything that they might need to know, you want to put that in the welcome letter. So now you have all your forms in here, either built out in practice better, or you can also just, um, upload a form into it. So in the case of the welcome letter, I just upload it from um, a PDF file. Okay. So now you've got that stuff in there. Now, the next thing you want to do is create the automation. And what we're going to do, the automation we're going to create says that when I add a package to a client's account, they automatically get all these forms. Okay. So, um, let's go to my practice and we're going to go to automations. Okay, now I already did this before for another tutorial, so I'm just gonna delete that quickly. But you're gonna go create automation. Okay, and then we're gonna say, um, send forms after package is confirmed. Okay, so we're gonna call this um, intake forms automation. This is just for your information. No one else is gonna see this, okay? Um, and then it's for um, our IBS program, right? This is another program I created for another example. Okay. And this is what we want to send them. We want to send them the welcome letter. You know, obviously this should say IBS, but this is just an example, uh, client contract and waiver health history. Um, and like, that's what we want them, um, to, um, see, and then any additional information. So you might just say, you know, Hey Jane, or Hey, Hey there. Um, welcome to the IBS fix please read through and fill out all these forms carefully. You can email support at kendraperry.net if you need support in completing the forms. For example, Kendra. Okay. Um, and then you were going to hit create. And now that automation is there. Okay. So the next thing, so let's say, um, I talked to Jane Doe on the phone and she's like, yep, I want to sign up for the IBS program. So what we're going to do, um, is we're going to either, she's going to already have a, um, account inside, um, practice better, right? Because when they sign up for a discovery call with you, when they book an appointment, it will automatically create them account with ins inside practice better. Um, but maybe, um, you created it manually or something so you can always give them an account. So if you want to create an account, you just go, um, um, let's see here. Oh, we're in Jane Doe's account. So you just go to my clients and then you just go here, I believe. Yeah. Add client. And you would put their information in here. First name, last name, email address. Um, and then, you know, if you want to send them an invite or just create the client profile, for example, you would do that here. And so once you have that client, um, account, so I'm just going to use my, my Jane Doe account. So we're going to go edit and now we're going to go to bookings and packages and we're going to go to packages. Um, this is one that I created before, but, um, basically we're going to go here you can do it from here or you can do it from here book package and we're going to add that ibs program um and we're going to just say um save 
Um, and then you can send the confirmation. This will just confirm to the client that they got this package added, or if you don't want them to receive it. I usually skip it because everything's in the welcome letter. I say confirm. And now if you say done, that just happened automatically. So if we go now to forms and waivers, you can see that all these forms have been sent to her. Um, and now we can see the status of those forms. Have they, are they started? Um, you know, how, if they finish like 50%, it'll say 50% complete. Um, and so you can kind of keep track of, you know, where your clients are with their intake forms. But that is very cool because that all that means is you just add the package to their account and they get all those intake forms and everything they need for onboarding. And so that is how you do that. And I hope that was helpful. Hi, I'm back. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to share this with someone who you think it will help. And you can let me know that you like this video by liking it or leaving me a comment in the comments obviously. And just so you know, I do respond to every comment. So if you do have questions, I am happy to answer it. And that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.